Good afternoon, students. So in this video, we are going to talk about unit rates. So unit rates are when we're looking at a particular rate or a ratio, and we are trying to figure out the amount for one specific unit. So if this is your second time watching the video, you can go ahead and pause. We're going to do three examples. We're going to do an example that basically takes the top half, and then we'll split the bottom half into two sections. But you can go ahead and copy down what you see on the screen right now. Okay, so in this first example, if we are comparing two different, let's say, boxes of snacks, okay, at Costco, you can buy five boxes um, at $5.55. Like you buy five boxes and that's how much it costs. At Walmart, you can buy 10 boxes and it's $11.50. So if we want to try to purchase, and they're the same exact product, if we want to try to purchase it at the cheapest price or get the better deal, um, we need to figure out like how much does it cost per box? And then based off of that, it's going to be easier if we, you know, figure out if we should buy from Walmart or buy from Costco. So um, to figure out the cost per box, we are going to take the prices and divide them by the number of boxes. It's pretty much as simple as that. So for the Walmart deal, we have $5.55 divided by five. That is equivalent to $1.11. And that's per box, right? Like that's the amount per box. Uh, and then at Walmart, we're going to take $11.50 and divide it by 10 and this is equivalent to $1 and 15 cents. And again, that is per box. So these are what's known as the unit rate. I'm just going to write unit rate and then draw an arrow over to each answer. So you remember like those are the unit rates. Um, and so clearly the better deal uh, is to purchase at Costco um, because it's a little bit cheaper. Um, however, if you need more boxes, like it's a four cent difference. So it's not too crazy, but technically the uh, box that has the less unit rate is going to be at Costco. We could have also figured this out by doubling, right? We could have done, okay, well, how much does it cost for 10 boxes at Costco? Cause at Walmart, 10 boxes cost 11.50. So if I double this, um, is it gonna be less than $11.50? And it ends up being a little bit less than $11.50. So that is how we can calculate a unit rate um, by given like, you know, two different scenarios. Sometimes we're asked to find the unit rate, but they give us um, some other kind of ways to look at it. So you can go ahead and draw a line uh, to kind of cut your paper in half. And then we are going to uh, split the page into two examples. So sometimes we're asked to find the unit rate um, given, you know, just some information or they might give us a graph. They might take the information and put it on a graph and we have to find out what is the cost or not necessarily cost, but what is the amount for one specific unit? So we're gonna look at the first example. So let's pretend that this is someone delivering newspapers and in one hour they can deliver 63 papers. So they already tell us the unit rate. That's the unit rate right there. In one hour, they can deliver 63 papers. Um, they are curious how much, how many papers they can deliver in three hours. Um, and then, but we also know that they can deliver 315 papers in five hours. That's a five right there. So in order to solve for this missing piece, um, I'm just going to use the acronym of funds and set up and solve a proportion. So they tell me the unit rate. So I know, let's say you can uh, do 63 papers in one hour. And I am trying to figure out how much can be delivered in three hours. So I could just use X. And then if I use either cross roads or cross multiplication to solve, I'm going to use cross roads to go from one to three. I'm just multiplying by three. So if I do the same thing up top here, 63 times three is 189. Let me double check. Yes, it's 189. So they can deliver 189 papers in three hours. So X is equal to 189 papers. Um, I could have also used the other uh, ratio they gave me of five uh, hours is equal to 315 papers. I could have done it that way as well. Um, I could use that to compare and solve. Um, I would have gotten the same answer. Okay. Let's look at a graph now. So they give us this graph and they tell like, these are the rows. And then this is how many seats like our total, like based on the number of rows. So like 10 rows, there are 20 seats. Um, so if we want to figure out like how many seats are in one row, if they're all the same amount, um, all we need to do is like pick a point on this graph 
and then set up a proportion and solve for the unit rate. So I'm just going to use this one. So there are 20 seats in 10 rows. So if I'm trying to figure out how much is for one row, because that's the unit rate, I'm just going to solve. So to go from 10 to 1, I'm just dividing by uh, 10. So if I divide 20 by 10, then that means uh, one row is only two seats, which is barely a row in my opinion, but it is what it is. So this is the unit rate. Every row has just two seats in it. It's a very skinny auditorium or whatever it is that we're looking at. Um, maybe it's like the sideline of a gym or something like that. Um, who knows? So um, sometimes we're asked to solve for the unit rate, which is the amount for one specific unit. Other times we can use the unit rate to find the other missing piece if we're trying to find an equivalent ratio or rate or solve the proportion. So I'm going to give you three examples to do. Um, I will read them and then you need to copy them and you can always check your answers in the table of contents. So our three practice problems either to solve for the unit rate or to you know use the unit rate to help you solve a problem. So the first one is if it costs $12 for three packs of Coke and each pack has six cans, how much is one can? So what is the cost of just one can? Um, and then the second question is it's giving you miles and hours. Um, so how much, uh, how many miles are in one hour? Um, if two hours, there's 90 miles, if three hours is 135, and then how much is it in four hours? So to solve for the unit rate, as well as this piece of information here. And then the next question is, if X equals two and Y equals 15, like that is the ratio they give you. If X is equal to one, what is Y? So kind of set up a proportion using funds and solve using crossroads or cross multiplication. Um, this is the unit rate, right? If X equals one for one unit, what is Y? Um, okay, if you have any questions, make sure to ask your teacher. You can check your answers in the table of contents. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have a good day, good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.